Hello everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you guys what's in my camera bag in 2021. I've packed everything I could into my backpack. This is everything I would take when I would travel somewhere to film something. Obviously this would vary from project to project, but I basically try to fit as much of my gear in here as possible. Before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge thanks to my parents for supporting my passion for filmmaking. A lot of the gear that you'll see today I've acquired because of them and I just want to say that I'm very grateful for all the gear that I'm able to use to make films. So in order to show you guys uh, the first thing which would be my main camera, I actually have to switch to my GoPro in order to show you guys because I'm using my main camera to shoot this. So let's quickly switch to my GoPro. Okay, we are on the GoPro now, so let's open up this backpack. This backpack, by the way, is an Amazon's basic backpack, so it's the most basic camera bag out there. Cool thing is, it doesn't really look like a camera backpack besides this little tripod strap that we have over here, but besides that, it just looks like any other backpack. When we zip it up open, this is where the main compartment is. And over here is my main camera, which is the Sony a7C with the 24 to 70 Sigma f2.8 art lens. This is one of the newest additions to my kit. It's uh, my new camera. I got this in October 2020. So this is brand new in my kit. I've been absolutely loving it so far, especially this lens. 24 to 70 millimeter range covers everything I need. And it's just a great uh, full frame camera. I've been loving it and I haven't looked back. I already sold my old DSLR. So now that I've shown you guys my main camera, my main setup, we can go back to it. I can put it back on the tripod so we can get back to the video. All right, back on the main camera. Let's keep going. Over here is my microphone, the only microphone that I have. Besides this one is the Rode Video Micro. It's a great little shotgun mic. Um, I use it on top of my camera all the time. Next, over here in this little pocket, I just have my two little caps that conveniently go together. This is for my camera and this is for my lens. As well in this little pocket, I have a little mounting plate for my gimbal. Next is this little pouch over here. Clearly, by the design, this is where I keep all my cables for all my chargers. If I open this up, you know I got my bricks over here and I've got all the cables. Um, increasingly, I've been getting way more cables, so this thing's filled right now. I don't even have my charger for my gimbal here. So I'm starting to struggle with uh, fitting all the cables over here. But this little pouch is great and this is where I keep my cables for now. Next, over here I have this GoPro uh, little bag. And in here, I do have my GoPro Hero 7. That's not the only thing in here. I have my portable SSD. This is what I bring with my laptop that I also bring. This is where I keep all my raw files. When I'm done recording, I get back to, let's say, the hotel. I put all my um, video files on this micro SSD. Sorry, portable SSD. I've actually realized that with all the new things that I got, to my kit. I'm running out of space in this backpack and I'm struggling to find places for things like this SSD so I had to put it in this bag. Next we got the GoPro Hero 7 with its case. As well in this bag I have this little handle for my GoPro. Over here in this little zipper I have, I have the cable for my SSD as well all the miscellaneous stuff for my GoPro like these mounting stuff and obviously all the screws for the GoPro so that all goes in here. Next up sort of thrown in here I don't really have a place for this is all my GoPro mounting stuff so this is for the chest this is for the head usually on shoots I don't bring these but as this is a travel bring all your gear sort of backpack tour if you will I did put decide to put these and if I was to go to travel I would bring these and they would just sort of rest on top of my gimbal so when I take these out underneath here I do have the main part of my gimbal this is also a new addition. I had the Moza Air Cross before, now I have the Weevil S. My previous gimbal did have a hard shell carrying case. Unfortunately, the Weevil S does not. That's why it sort of has to lay at the bottom of this compartment area. Luckily though, it does have its lock mechanism, which makes it way easier to travel with. Moving on from the main area of the backpack. So the next compartment of the bag, I have to open like this as we've got a lot of stored, we got a lot of things here that are kind of loose. When we, op when we zip open this little pouch over here, this is the newest thing to my kit right here in this nice little pouch. 
It is a mini RGB video light. This is the EVC G2. I only got this thing like two days ago, so I haven't really played around with this thing yet. It is super bright. This thing's very bright and it's got the full um, RGB spectrum as you can see. Um, and it's also got its cool little effects. I just got arrested. So let me just switch to this light. Okay, I'm being now lit by the EVC light. So moving on, we have the controller for my drone, which is the DJI Spark that is coming up. We also have in this little pocket, uh, the bottom part of my gimbal, which extends like this. I also have the quick release system for my gimbal. So it's nice and easy to go from the bottom to the top of my gimbal. In that same pocket, I have this little top handle for my camera, which I use whenever I'm shooting handheld. Next, we have my drone case, which my drone resides in this little styrofoam case. It is the DJI Spark. Next, in this little zip up sachet, I have what every videographer needs an ND filter which gets stored in this little nice case. It is the KF brand ND filter. Next pocket I have another quick release plate for the gimbal. Um, since my camera has a bigger lens on it, I do need this. It does have a, provide a little support and, and it is way easier to balance. And that is it for this last compartment. Now all that we have left are these little pouches on the side. Over here I have a mount for my tripod which I am using right now. And that's everything in here. On the other side I do have this little thing. This is, I use this to clean my sensor and my lenses whenever I'm changing them in and out. And of course for my a computer which doesn't have an SD card port, I have this little device that where I plug my SD card in here plug this into the computer and I'm able to transfer files onto my SSD. And that is it for all the main compartments. There is still one more zipper left, which is over here. And this is where I would put my laptop, which is currently over there recording my voiceover. So I wasn't able to put it here. And this lap then my laptop goes over here. And that is everything that I have in my camera backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything I talked about will be linked in the description below if you'd like to purchase it for yourself. If you'd like to see any detailed videos on any of the items like I mentioned, like the VCG2, I will be making a review on that light. But if you saw anything else that you'd like to see a review on, please comment down below as well. Check out my review of the Sony a7C, which I released a few months back as soon as I got it. Subscribe if you're new because 98% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next video.